and my name is Atrac. On this picture, I'm five years old and... <coughs> Excuse me, I think I had something in my throat. On this picture, I'm five years old and I'm playing on my little drum set. Here I am on the piano. I played for about five years. Then when I turned 13, I discovered my true passion. No, I'm not talking about the Torah. I'm talking about scratching. But what you're seeing here is my bar mitzvah. And the money that my family gave me for my bar mitzvah is what funded my first turntables and mixer and essentially launched my DJ career. What's up? My name is DJ A-Track. I'm 14 years old. I've been scratching for a year and a half and I'm from Montreal. And this is what I do. you come in. Welcome to my DVD. Welcome, welcome. So as we were saying, I got my first turntable and my first mixer. I started practicing and in the months that followed, I also started getting a couple of shows around Montreal. Here's some footage from a local graffiti festival called Under Pressure. I also met a couple of local DJs around that time and I started jamming with them. I found an old news story that a local TV show had ran on me back then and it shows me working with those guys. You're standing here with Devious, um, another DJ who has helped you along the way. Um, how do you feel about, about competing against him at this event? It's all good, you know, even though he taught me a lot, it's like I owe, I owe most of it to him. He taught me like what I, could learn, what I couldn't learn by myself. I show stuff to him, he shows stuff to me, we don't hide anything. Here I am with my big brother Dave, who also played a tremendous role in my career. More on him later. Trying to keep all the bases covered, you know, trying to prepare himself for everything. So when he gets up there, hopefully he'll be relaxed. Then he's in his basement. And I think he might take it. My style is the best, and so I challenge you. Here I am at the Canadian DMC Finals a couple of months later. I used to always check my needles before I went on. Stupid! 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 Stupid!
fucking mind. <laughs> The most important thing is, where's Dave One? Dave One is in France. <laughs> where is Dave? What I mean by that is, why isn't Dave One here? Ask yourself. Very disappointed. Dave, we miss you. <laughs> Dave One. Those glasses. I miss those glasses. So that was my big brother Dave. Dave is basically the one who convinced me to buy my first turntables. Back then, Dave also had a live band, and I used to perform with them around town. Savoy, Stonerway Gallery, but I wasn't DJing alone, I was DJing with, with the band. The man you just saw on the bass was none other than P Thug. Let's introduce P. These guys were literally the first people that ever saw me scratch. They used to drive me to all my shows, and Dave used to help me build a lot of my routines for battles. Dave and I also founded a record label together, Audio Research Records. Here's Obscure Disorder, a group I've been DJing for since the early days. This is Jordan Dare, D-Shade, Similac, Willow, Big Buddy, and Make. That was basically our OG Montreal posse. Another thing that happened around that time is that I met Qbert at a gig in Montreal. Here we are with Kit Koala and friends, and here we are at the Canadian DMC finals. After that battle, Hubert invited me to join the Invisible Scratch Pickles. And with that, I was on my way to battle in the 1997 DMC World Finals in Italy. Oh yeah! When I got there, I met a couple of DJs, like Rock Raider, Slice, Cash Money, and I also met up with Hubert again. What do you got there? It's my list. Uh, every, well, until Yoga Frog told me that you uh, name your scratches, I always thought I was the only one. Mm -hmm. What I do is uh, I have these lists of all my scratches, and when I build routines for the competitions like this one, first I write down all the tricks I want to use. Mm -hmm. Then I um, put them in order for each sound, and this is how it finishes. Wow, so that's good. Each, each, uh, each trick has a name. 
Some name is some names are like vague and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like uh, like only you know the names, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Only I know the key. <laughs> Welcome, 15-year-old Fucking mind. All your other DJs are a bunch of jerks. Give them an example how a DJ works. Most of the people here. Canada! Who would you have who could possibly beat me? And the 1997 Technics DMC World Champion is. Is DJ A Track. A Train from Canada! The 15 year old kid came in with the old boys! Oh yeah! 15 years of age! What a revelation! Woo! Wait a minute, wait a minute. What did you just call me? I was so excited I didn't even notice. A-Train from Canada! The brand new 15-year-old world champion, A-Train. You'll see him later. A-Train, Cutmaster Swift. <laughs> I'll get it right next year. <laughs> Oh yeah, the day after the DMCs, they organized a show called The Summit, where they had all the world champions play. You're gonna see my mom in a minute. And that was the end of my trip to Italy. The whole thing was kind of surreal, and it didn't really kick in till I got home that I had actually won this competition.
Later that summer, I flew out to San Francisco to meet the rest of the Scratch Pickles first of all, and also to record some Scratch practice tapes with Hubert and with D Styles. Yeah, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, all right. My friend, um, the, uh, the football, uh, alien. <laughs> 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 hut one, hut two. <laughs> So, um, you wanna open the light? <laughs> hey! So this is Hubert's father? <laughs> okay. So, um, what do you think of your son's music? Oh, I think, uh, yeah. wonderful, you know, that's what the kids say. <laughs> <laughs> and it's in the top ten. Yeah. Uh, last month and this month and all the record store around the city are all sold out. Yeah, that's good. I went over there just to check. I'm not going to buy anything. <laughs> uh -huh. So until today, since the beginning of this, I still don't understand his music. <laughs> what kind of music do you like? Well, you know, Frank Sinatra and uh -huh. Jerry Bale. You know, all the slow music. Yeah. yeah. Slow. Not this one. I don't understand. Right. You see him, how he moves and all his... Yeah. He's supposed to be the best and he's still the best. So as I started going out to California more often, I also started spending more time with Peanut Butter Wolf. Wolf put me onto a lot of older records, some samples, some old school electro, and I used to just stay at his house in the Bay Area. Peanut Butter Wolf. Okay. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Peanut Butter Wolf. <laughs> you know, this only costs four dollars at Toys R Us.
I also caught up with Mixmaster Mike when he was on the Hello Nasty tour with the Beastie Boys in the fall of 98. In three. Mixmaster Mike, what's this tattoo you have on your arm? Okay. People don't understand what it means because it's in Japanese. You have to be Japanese to understand it. And it means universal spaceman. So I'm a universal spaceman from Zektar. I'm a divine communicator from the scratch planet Zektar. <laughs> What's in your hand? Bala Moet. Moet? Puffy recommended this to me, but I don't prefer Moet. But hopefully one day we can get large on scratching. Yeah, but this is a orange juice, vitamin C. <laughs> you know? And I got my weight here. It's like the scratch army. The scratch service. Yeah. Keep everything in functional order. Push-ups. Pack a chicken with you so you can chase it around and stuff so you can get a workout. Chase a chicken around the bed. <laughs> Life on the road. Chill out. Let's see some Star Trek shit. Push this button. What? <laughs> so dumb. This ad rocks um, SB12. See, that's dope. With the infamous Beastie, um, Beastie cooker. Cooks up beats for the Beastie owl. We have um, TV screens and Niji Bunk. And back here, we have our stereo system. We have our funny movies. Hey, up in the ceiling. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Is there anything that muscles in the today? Yeah. yeah. There's, there's, um, Fun there's a there's uh, a big car ostrich convention. Yeah. Bunch of ostriches and stuff. Well, ostrich, ostrich racing. Dog show. I thought it was a dog when show. When is it going to be finished? Um, is there a fixed time? I don't know. Well, ostriches are well, wild, what, man. It's going to be all night. The ostriches are going to be then, uh, then, then they can right? go to the finals. Right. And then uh, some naked penguins should come. Yeah, so it should be over by like 9 or something like that. No, 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 no. This one was late. <laughs> um, 11.30, man. Yeah? About 11. About 11. If you get here at 11, you'll get a lot of rides. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be back. So, so that brings us up to the 1998 DMC World Finals in Paris. I had to defend my title, and that was really the only battle I entered that year, so I was focusing all my attention on that. When I got there, I also met up with Grace. <laughs> <laughs> okay. got no, I got no turntables, I got no gold plated turntables. Uh -huh. okay. That's what I would need actually. <laughs> Forget the car, I said you were white. Last day, you were white. Forget the car, don't worry about the car. What kind of car was it? If, if you participate in India, you may get an aircraft next year. You really got a car? Yeah. What kind? It's it's a it's a modified Jeep. Wow. It's got it's it's a four wheel drive. It's got tires which are about that thick. That, that's thick. That's thick. Amazing. Oh, I'm going to have to lose it right there. I'm going to have to lose it right there. I'm going to have to lose it right there. 
What just happened? Okay, the needle skipped. That's fine, that happens to everybody. But what's this? The knob flew off? Holy moly! Monsieur Autofon, ouvre le envelope. DJ will be the defending champion A Trek from Canada. DJ Oh my boy, that was a fantastic performance. Open this one. Qui est numéro un ce soir? United States. Man, losing that battle really sucked. I mean, did you see how angry I looked at the end of my set? Sweet mother of mercy. And I'm not trying to blame it on the knob falling off either. It is what it is. But in any case, there's a press conference the next day, and I guess I decided to take out some anger on Tony Prince. Not you again, eh, track? <laughs> is there anything anybody wanted to ask me? Tony. Yeah. Can you explain to everybody what, what you told me about how you came up with the name A-Train? How I came with A-Train? Yeah, why, why you call me A-Train? Yeah, um, I'd, I'd been spending a lot of time in New York and there's a train that is a cat called the A-Train. And also one of my best friends, a guy called Maurice Oberstein, who was the managing director of, or the chairman of Sony, and he used to have racehorses and I had an affinity with him on the racehorses and one of his horses was called A-Train. <laughs> So he looked like a horse now. <laughs> it's just part of my act. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, hi. You're back. Have a seat. Now, after the 98 DMCs, I stayed in touch with Craze, and I was also talking to Develop from New York. So Craze and Develop had just formed a new crew called the Allies. The Allies was basically Craze and Infamous from Miami, and from New York they had Develop, Spectacular, and J Smoke. And now they're asking me to join, which I did. So the Allies' sole mission was just to dominate the entire battle scene. And what that meant was that we had to practice a lot and spend a lot of time together. It's a track video camera. <laughs> <laughs> So this was a period where we were all doing a lot of shows together and everybody was feeding off each other within the allies and we were all just really hungry to come up with these new styles. Um, my favorite show from that period was the Table Turn second anniversary in New York. I'm your host, Kinetic Energy, and this is oh, Ill Echo Effect. <laughs> word, word. <laughs> and first up... Thank <laughs> you. 
Later that year, I entered the ITF World Championships, the Vestax World Extravaganza, and the DMC Team Championships. This here is the ITF World Finals Three, in Hawaii. Two, one. <laughs> That's very bad. That's awful. That's terrible. He's really bad. <laughs> the ITF battle was a head-to-head -head battle where you went up against different DJs from one round to the next. Right here I pieced together some of my favorite rounds. <laughs> That belt might look nice, but it was really cheap and actually broke that night. Anyways, it was fun. After that, I went to Japan for the Vestax World Championships. We don't really have too much footage from that battle, but it was my first trip to Japan, 
And I also won. To top it all off, this was the first year that DMC held the team championships, so the Allies decided to enter. Our main competition was the Scratch Perfects from England. It was me, Craze, and Infamous, so we started to practice. Whoa, out of here. We're at Zoo York. And we can't get in. <laughs> Turntable thugs! <laughs> Turntable thugging it. This is where we practice out of this fucking dumb dungeon. This goes out for those fake fucking niggas. Go on, come on, and get burned with the quickness. This goes out for those fake fucking niggas. This part was just us making fun of how all these other crews all did the same elementary routines. I'm sick of this shit. That's right. All you motherfuckers around the world, don't sit with your boys, hyping your shit up. Y'all need to give it up. We don't give a fuck. I'ma tell you straight, look in the fucking mirror, you whack. That shit don't sound right. That shit don't sound right. These routines were so difficult to pull off. Unlike solo routines, there weren't really any set styles to start from, so we kinda had to invent all these new techniques. Okay, so we just got out of DMC right now. We're on our way to get something to eat. Oh my god, you look red. Craze is a fucking pussy because he doesn't think we won. Oh my god, but we won because we did it perfect. And the perverts aren't good, they just dissed us well. But it's fucking boring. But the boring thing is, they won't announce the winners. 
they won't announce the winner until I'm tomorrow. not saying we lost. I'm just saying people are stupid. They only announced the winners the next day. So for 24 hours, we were just trying to figure out whether or not we won. All we knew was that the scratch perverts had dissed us really hard. And really, that dissed me really hard. I have this message for all of you. You all believe that? A trap, a trap, a trap, a trap, a trap, a trap. I will think so. Well, looks like that's the end of the Allies then. God damn it, we lost. And you know what? We were pissed. So Crazy and I decided to enter again the next year. It was gonna be in London on Scratch Pervert's home turf, but we wanted our revenge. But first, we needed to practice. If on, two, ready, go. Oh, see, I want to give y'all a little announcement, man. For the last year, there's been a lot of work crews coming out of the shit been weak. When we were putting together our intro, Craze and I wanted to address how a lot of these other crews were biting us. The Allies had brought back dissing and a lot of the attitude that comes with battling. We used to call ourselves the turntable thugs. Then all of a sudden, everybody was a thug. It's all good to show love to a nigga, but stop fighting my shit, shit, shit. Ready? Ready. Here we go. One, two, ready, and... <laughs> Right here, we were imitating all these crazy sound effects that the Scratch Perverts used to do in their routines. Craze wore a fisherman hat just like Tony Vegas, and I was making fun of Prime Cuts. I need to knock that shit off. That's some fake bullshit. Knock that shit off for real. And all the funky DJs that tried to battle me this year understand. Can't let the guy niggas fuck with me and my man. Only a few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Sweet revenge. We won! <sighs> what is this stuff? So the last battle that I entered was the 2000 ITF. I wanted to try to defend my title. I was going to be up against Plus One, who was the newest member of the Scratch Perverts. Like the previous ITF battle, this one had many rounds. And the first routine you're about to see was in the semi-finals against XS. Oh my god. This is the final round against plus one. Fuck you, plus one. Fuck you, plus one. Fuck you, plus one. I gave birth to your whole style and fail. I do it fail to hold my dick in public. Cock blower. Prime touch. Clone up. Prime touch. Clone up. Prime touch. Clone up. It's me and you do it live on stage for dope. Yeah. And in first place, we got A Track all the way from Canada. Congratulations. <laughs> Security, get infamous off the stage. Um, man, I really don't want this. I want to dedicate this to my brother you, Dave Juan. Really and uh, just send a shout out to everybody, basically. Because uh, the people who inspired me, shout out to them. People who uh, player hate me, shout out to them because they forced me to be better and shit. So, thank you. So that was the end of my battling career. After that, I was ready to go back on the road with the Allies. On the road again.
And now, here's a couple of routines that I came up with in the year or two after I retired from battle.
an eight track, right? This is the kind of motherfucker that looked like he couldn't make it out the bathroom at a hip hop show. This is the kind of motherfucker, if you leave him alone enough in his room without some turntables, he'll make a fucking pipe bomb. Show up at the high school. Make some noise. This is what hip hop has become today. DJ A Track is the man. No bullshit. Welcome back. Finally, we're going to explore some of my globetrotting travels. We're going to go all the way to Australia, South Africa, even China, and for starters, Japan. Welcome to the future in outer space. Let's get it out of space. Add tight up again. Jobs? How much? $100 for 30 minutes. 30 minutes? That'll be done in two minutes, bro. Kamichiwa! <laughs> 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 From 1 to 10. 1 to 10, what do you get? Uh, not, not pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello! How are you? It's Kashi. Hi. Kashi. <laughs> My name is Makoto. Whoa. Everything's going well? Everything's good? Yes. Number one? You're not home. <laughs> Ichiban. And now let's take a trip down under to that upside down country they call Australia. Uh -huh. 
just picked up a track from the International Airport, Sydney, Australia. Australia. Yeah. Of the Down under, a kangaroo, wombat, wallaby. Mm -hmm. And the toilet that flushes around backwards. Okay, ready? Go, water, go! Yes! That track's gonna be scratching up uh, nice and sick. Uh, now, honestly, I've, you were absolutely bopping away. I mean, every little uh, instrument and note you're just bopping away, pretending to play it. I mean, you really, I've never seen someone who looks like they enjoy their music so much. Still 16. Six, still 16. You've only been DJing since you're 13. Yeah. That's incredible. Thank you very much. <laughs> Tasmanian Devil, as seen on TV. Oh my god! <laughs> Walking in the streets. Oh my god, that's a shoe! <laughs> Behold, the southern tip of the motherland, South Africa. Oh, you got me on? I just started now, so... Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Peace and love, y'all. And Phil uh, here at the Academy. Red Bull, doing that thing. Checking out all this talent. Much love to everyone. What's up, it's Prince Paul. My man DJ A track. Just remember one thing, um, I'm gonna battle him soon. <laughs> and then when I finish taking him out, my son is gonna take him out. So he'll never win. And then when my son finishes taking him out, he's gonna A track's so gonna gonna practice. Then I have to take him out again. <laughs> then he'll take him out. <laughs> this is what we do, you know. A track, Prince Paul, Paul Jr. Right. Remember, he there for the battle. <laughs> Yo, yo, we're out here in Cape Town, South Africa. Just got here a few hours ago. And uh, checking out the city. Okay, Cape Town. I guess you can call it the southernmost tip of Africa. Um, if you look at the people over here, you can even check over there as well. You know, it's like, it's, it's it gets got genetic footprints of people from all over the world. You have people from South America to Europe to Southeast Asia to other parts of Africa, from Angola, Mozambique, and whatever. So as a city, it's a really creative, um, I guess, center. It's not industry related at all. You basically find find broke musicians. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Broke b-boys, <laughs> broke reggae artists, DJs, whatever. It's, it's essentially where people make music and produce culture because they love it. That island over there is where Nelson Mandela was in prison. Yeah. It's called Robin Island. Basically, we are extremely close to Cape Point, South Africa, which is the southernmost point um, of all of Africa, where the Atlantic Ocean and the Indian Ocean meet. So this is like just a few kilometers away. We're not gonna have time to go there because uh, I have to go to Red Bull, give my lecture. But I mean, this is pretty damn close. Africa. Scratching, we look at beat juggling, we look at sampling because I see there's a song flow over here. Yeah. Um, maybe we could go through, through through some of that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, I guess in general, when people hear about um, turntablism, the first thing they think of is like that Jiga Jiga stuff, you know, like, make it chirp. That's like a bird chirping. Yeah. 
<laughs> this is like the, the classic sounds of scratching. If you see somebody scratch in general, they'll be scratching on this, on, on ah, or on fresh. That, that's all you need, you can go home. <laughs> the, the, like, the basic scratch, the original patterns, all the stuff that people did for the first, like, during the 80s and early 90s, there's like pretty much set terms, like they all have their names and stuff. The original scratch is what people call the baby scratch, and it's pretty basic. It's just <laughs> this is like the foundation of scratching. It's just going back and forth. And yeah, stabs. This is stabs here. If you take a baby scratch, but you cut off the backward motion and you only keep the forward, you only go pip 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 like that, and you just do that really fast. Stabs. Another basic, really important scratch is the transformer scratch, which again is named after the uh, transformers. <laughs> um, what else can we do? Scribbles is basically when you're just kind of playing with baby scratches pretty fast. Stuff like this. So, you know, DJs aren't very inspired with names, but. They move their headset. And then, um... <laughs> but then when you go into like, the weirder patterns of like, the Cubert era, then it gets all crazy because you start talking about the double reverse backwards flare flirt crab something. <laughs> and someone's like, oh yeah, I know that's French. <laughs> um, but we'll go through some stuff, I mean... I never really thought I'd go to China. Definitely not to scratch. So check it out. What's up, everybody? What's up? Um, <clears throat> okay, one, two, one, two, check, check, check. What's going on, everybody? Um, you're here with uh, your host, your gracious host. My name is A Track. Um, I'm Canadian. I'm tired, and uh, more than anything, I'm in China right now. Shenzhen is the city. I haven't really slept too much. I'm very jet lagged, um, but I'm happy to be here. And we're gonna discover this wonderful country together. Uh, we're gonna be a team, really. Guys, guys, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. It was a long, 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 long flight over. Um, nah. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm tired. I'm, uh, I'm Jewish. I'm Canadian. Um, I'm 21 years old, I'm in China, and I'm tired. Uh, the flight was about 20 hours long, all in all, Montreal to Vancouver, Vancouver to Hong Kong. <clears throat> that was Hong Kong that I said, Hong Kong, not Hong Kong. <clears throat> Me. And uh, then I took a train over to Shenzhen, which is where I am now, and uh, in a few minutes we're going to meet up with a promoter. His name is Spark Lam. Spark Lam, as in um, Spark. And he's going to show us around the city. We're going to discover China and its landmarks. Maybe we'll even see some monkeys. I, I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of the press, uh, Mr. President, um, and so forth. 
My name is A. Trizak, Alain Trak for some, um, Mr. Maklovich to others. Um, and I'm jet lagged. I am jet lizagged. But you know what? I'm not a complainer. I'm not gonna complain. You won't hear any complaining because complaining is not my shtick. Um, we're gonna go out, we're gonna have a good time, we're gonna partay, um, we're gonna mingle, and we're gonna eat some Pringles. Um, no, no, scratch that, no Pringles, no Pringles. Good morning, Spark. <laughs> What's up? What's we're, up? We're in the lobby of the uh, Sunshine Hotel. Mm. Yeah, yeah, welcome to China. Fantastic. It's fantastic? Yeah. That's terrific. All right. Spark. <laughs> Very special McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right. So where are we now? Um, the, the window of the world. <laughs> window of the world? Yeah. Welcome to our world. Hello, Mr. Horse. Mr. Horse. Oh. Horse is a horse. Okay. A horse, of course. Mr. Horse. All right, this is the venue. Crazy, what is it, crazy club? Bin uh, the Chinese. Crazy, Bin Zhou. Bin Zhou? Mm. All right. <laughs>
What's up, everybody? What's up, um, boys and girls, G-Unit soldiers, and uh, Jehovah's Witnesses? Welcome to my DVD once again. We are in the China chapter. China chapter. Ch -ch 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 Chimichanga. Yeah. We're in Hong Kong right now. Um, see? 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 Huh? Huh? See? See? This is Hong Kong right here. You know what I mean? Uh, been here for like less than a day. Hong Kong, that is. Uh, played a show last night, which was lots of fun, lots of fun for the whole family. Bring a friend. Hanging out at the hotel room right now. And, uh... Wow! Wow! Today the plan is to discover Hong Kong and, uh, film some interesting shit. Shit! Oh, yup. What's up, man? Chillin'? This is, uh, Pen right here. The infamous Pen one. Public New enemy York. number one. Chillin' in fucking Hong Kong. Some, yeah. of my, some of my shit. Designing for Nike. The Nike Stees. I'm part of the, the giant fucking machine <laughs> that, uh, that spits out Nike stuff. Oh, this is top secret. I can't even show you this <laughs> shit, man. This is this is the Stees, my own personal Stees. You got your action figure. My own action figure coming out. Fuck GI Joe, man. The Bomb Squad, designed by my man Nate from Brooklyn. Angry Mike Tyson. Yep. The, se the secret swoosh in the head. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Fuck you, biscuit. <laughs> you gotta get a fuck you biscuit. Over here, a bag of frogs. <laughs> Hip hop. Hip hop is a state of mind, man. It's a state of mind. You wanna do it? No, I bet you can go and join in. No, no. Sorry. Is it going now? couple of years I started experimenting a little bit more with my live shows. One of the things I did was I started using a sampler which allowed me to create beats live in front of the audience. <laughs>
I've met some pretty interesting characters over the years. Let's go down to Nolans and visit the legendary KLC. Then we could go up to New York and hang out with Grandmaster Rock Raider. And finally, we could go out west and jam with the one and only Money Mark. State your name. KLC. I have SP-1200. This one. That's the new one. And plus, I had an old one else. <laughs> I don't use none of them though, but it wouldn't hurt to have them because you never know who come in. <laughs> we had a 505. 606. We have the 606. We have the 707. 808. We have the 808. And we have the 909. It's all vintage shit. This here. This is what Mantronics used. If y'all all, all want to know what Mantronics was using back in the days, this is the shit here. Them two machines right there. Everybody always want to know what my beats be having at hump. If you don't have one of these, you'll never get what I have. That's a SR? SR10. This is what I used to do about it, but I right. bought it off this actual keyboard. What's this keyboard here? It's the curve wire. The curve wire. Best thing you can get. If you're gonna get a real keyboard, get a real keyboard. I know a lot of people use it, um, you know, the Tritons and the Trinities and, and all that shit, the Motifs, but once you buy this, you ain't gonna need none of them. You know, you pay for what you get for. I paid for it and I ain't had to get nothing else. This is the new 4000. As you know, I have everything on the back of it. Now, what I use, I have ADATs, Pro Tools, and a 2-inch. Then we have to walk around the corner. Never know when you, when you get home. <laughs> Gotta keep one in the kitchen, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the breakfast beat? I always keep one in the kitchen. You know? More ADATs. <laughs> DA88s. This is about uh, this is a combined of eight million. Wow. Like so, so that's about it's about eighty million dollars. If you look at the wall, this is the all platinum road. That is the all platinum road, multi platinum. That's the gold status over there on that end. That is the. Everything on this wall right here is gold now, but it's, as this day it's platinum. This is my favorite one here. This is my first plaque that I received outside of No Limit. Blade, the first one. You know, it went gold though. They should have used my record for the single. So 200,000 copies on a VHS tape. First rap, first rap movie to go to DV, to, to, to go to, to tape. Then everybody else start doing it. Just let me know how man live. This is my left closet. Where I keep all my shoes at. This shoe that I wear, I have like a whole lot in the closet. But over here is, this is the side when you buy Jones, you gotta buy two pair. A pair to wear and a pair to spare. So, this side over here is all the Jones that I never wore before. I could pick up any pair and I have another pair over there. Everything over here is unworn. Never seen a, never seen a, the street before. And my G Knight. Custom pair here. They suede. <laughs> Crocodile. Alligator. With mink in it. <laughs> That's dope. It's my G Nike shirt. <laughs> Any pair of my tennis I wear. Show you my sword shirt. 
I have three colors in there. With all the, with all the Souls album covers on, you got Snoop, Lauren Hill, Nas, Big It, Pac, Easy E. You know what I'm saying? This is my dog right here. He about three years old. <laughs> you know, so every time you know somebody asks me a problem, I just let him know. <laughs> I've known Rock Raider for a long time, but recently he introduced me to his boy Horse, fresh out of Japan. And I gotta say, it changed my life forever. So yeah, we're at uh, Darecore Studios. This is where I do all my stuff, all my hater breaks, blogs, you know what I'm saying? I'm uh, beats with jugglers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got a screen over here, but when I do my scratches, I don't have to go back and forth from here to over there. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a long journey over there. So I got this set up this way. It's just a turntable, it makes it obviously a pro tool set up. This is where I do most of my scratches. This way I don't have to walk away, like I just said. Um, and this is just my setup, just to have the CDJ. You never see him on stage, though. But just have him just to, just in case I need to scratch something on CD. And, this is like my main setup. This is where I just practice on my routine and stuff. Anything that's two turns. You got some toys too? Yeah, got a lot of fucking toys. It's got collect a lot of Bruce Lee stuff. Got Bruce Lee, got this dude. Got Freddy, you know what I'm saying? Got the OG Fat Albert I got from Q for looking out. Got, you know what I'm saying? I'm proud of these two. These are my, like, my tags, scene, OG. 3D writer, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Babs hit some shit up, you know what I'm saying? Got a picture of Ace Track. <laughs> wow. When I first met him, you know what I'm saying? Star Fizzle. Yeah, that's where I do my beats. It's uh, 2000. That's it. Is that the door? Who could that be? That's probably horse. Let me go see. Yeah, this nigga is your horse. Oh, Yo, and I'm saying, this is my man, you know what I'm saying, I met him in Japan, L DJ, producer, MC, whatever, and you know I'm saying, my man, Horse. What's up, man? Cool. Nice to meet you, Horse. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's the man right here, horse. Horse. So horse said, what's up? Alright. In a minute. Peace. <laughs> Money Mark just never ceases to surprise me. So one day, I took my video camera and decided to spend an afternoon with him. Just to see what we could come up with. Money Mark. <laughs> What's up, A-Track? Chillin' Mark, chillin'. We're over here at Joey's place in Los Angeles. Uh -huh. Since 1938. I'm gonna show you a couple little things I do when I uh, wake up in the morning and I do my <laughs> musical calisthenics. Over here, I got this little um, keyboard. I got it running through with my amplifier right here. So here's a beat that I got running through. Some basic kick and snare pattern. I got it running through this little amplifier right here. And then I got a little analog delay in between the beat. In between the beat and the app, I got a little analog delay. And I can try to create some bass lines off the kick drum. I got my guitar running through uh, this uh, little blaster here. <laughs> And uh, anybody can do this. Just go pick up one of these um, car adapter things uh -huh. for the CD player to your cassette player thing. Uh -huh. And you run that in here. This is app, of course, after the coffee and all that. <laughs> Call a traveler. This is the Korg 770. How about some spaceships and aliens? Spaceships and aliens? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Take it off. Okay, let's do the fuck with the noise, because you guys like noise. Yep. Oh, I mixed in that note in there. Let's mix in a note from that side. Lower note. Uh, high note's good. It's nice to have a piano. If you're a DJ or whatever, man, mm -hmm. it's just nice to have a piano. So. Fuck up his beat. While he's doing the beat. Live gig.
One sunny afternoon, I met Kanye West. He took me on tour for a couple of months. It was my first stadium experience. It was also my first tour bus experience. There was lots of chicken wings, lots of shoes, and lots of laughter. Check it out. This is the second city that we were in today. First we was in Memphis, now we're here in New York, and we're on our way to Chicago next. Yeah. And we're on our way on yeah. a... G4 private jet. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know how we do it. I got a G4 computer, laptop <laughs> right here, and we got a G4 jet outside. Oh yeah, we finna get on a private jet, G4. You know how we do. <laughs> yeah, it's the rock. Sam, I do this private jet shit every day. Private jet, private jet. What is some Pepsi shit? You on the PJ folk? <laughs> hey, Poppy. Leave it in there. Hi, B. What up? Where are we at? Where are we at today? We in Chicago, <laughs> my hometown. Yeah. Yeah. How's we killed song? it. Yeah. Nigga J came out. You seen it already on the videotape? I know you have. John. <laughs> what do you think of the nice show, John? Ah oh, man. Jay Z was here. What else I gotta say? Jay Z. Jay-Z. <laughs> it's amazing. Incredible. Kanye, what do you think of tonight's show? Man, tonight, we're back in Shottown. Shottown, nigga. Shottown, ain't no illusion. We had nigga big old city. Yeah, exactly what he said. Bring it on, bitch. I'm Kanye fucking Hardy. Bitch! We here. Pippin ain't no illusion. The game ain't never die. That's really dope. People ain't called confusion, but niggas that never try. Okay, it's your boy John John. It's the Queen. We're here at the um, video shoot for the workout plan. Letting these ladies know how to get on a workout plan. Hi. Workout girls. <laughs> Yay. Get these balls. Matter of fact, there it goes. Get them sit ups right. We are just tuning in. It's the Bootleg Queen. The Bootleg Queen. In the building. I'm the Bootleg Queen. Nice. Hi. There we go. They're on a workout plan as well. Uh, one more. Who's the mask? That's the ceiling. Let's go. That's the ceiling. Here's the ring. Oh, shit. Look, look at this shit, man. He's just over here wrestling. And now he got all this shit on his head, man. We got to get to the bottom of this. Let's go ask these guys, man. Let's ask 50 Cent. Yeah, man, I swear, G, 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 you on that? I would never do that to John. Let's ask Andre 3000. Caroline. I never did it to John. I would never do that. Caroline. Let's ask Saddam Hussein. 
I blew up the Twin Towers, yes I did. But I would never do no shit like that to John Legend here. I think it was really though. Really though, that shit like that? Not me, not Bin Laden, no. Man, we gotta get to the bottom of this, man. Man, Common was here too. We gotta see if it was him, man. What's up, man? You seen John Legend? Where where is he? I don't know where he is. Oh, yeah. Let's go find him. You see that? Now what's up with his hat? Come on, baby. Back off. Hey, what happened to it? No, it's not us. Do you know anything about it? Why are you laughing? Why are you trying to laugh? Why you... Yeah, this is GLC cleaning the chain class. You know what I'm saying? You clean your shit with some motherfucking toothpaste. I prefer Aquafresh. It's great, extreme clean. Throw a little mouthwash in there and shit, you know what I'm saying? Just in case a bitch wanna kiss your chain. You know what I'm talking about? Stir it up. I'm gonna show your ass some shine. And then you snap twice, and then you pull this shit out like this. Open up my towel, you know what I'm talking about? Bink, drop that shit on there, okay? Your chain gonna be shining. And when you see this motherfucker shining like crazy, you gonna know why, cause you didn't just think the secrets of pimping, goddammit, you know what I'm talking about? I want you to pick a, pick a song off the album, mini song. And when he play the song, if y'all like it, y'all gotta scream so loud. When the music come on, I can't even hear it. So, uh, let's try this. <laughs> GLC, what up? <laughs> you ain't gonna rip no tongue or no shit. I, I rip one. Oh, you don't think so? You trying to doubt me like you own one. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got these dolls on, but you ain't know they could do this. Check it out. The new dolls. Removable tongue, baby. You know what I'm talking about? You can do it like this, flip it over, and when your foot get cold, put it back on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm smoking a Lucy. Hey, Tater Chip, you a fool. I'm Tater Chip. Do you got a fat ass? I'm Tater Chip. You sound like you got a fat ass. They call me Tater Chip. I'm Tater, Tater Chip, Tater Chip. They call me Tater Chip. You got an album coming out. Yeah, and I'm a habitual ass driver. What's up? Come on, don't try to laugh now, girl, because I'm horny. I'm horny, I'm tater chip, and I'm horny. Yeah, baby, they call me tater chip because niggas want to see me crumble. I'm out. I don't want to talk to her no more, man. She ain't horny enough. Tater chip, I'm tater, tater chip, tater chip. We, uh, we're about to meet up with Kanye West right now. We're going to go shopping at the babe store real quick. Um, for him, not for me. Shopping, you know what I'm saying? We got the ice chains right here. We got the baby 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 ice chains right here. We So Ted. Yes, it's been a long trip there, <laughs> uh, a, 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 a track. I can't even remember names anymore. I'm so lost in the ozone. Hey, track, you my boy, man. Coke, yeah. You the flyest yeah. white boy <laughs> ever, son. <laughs> <laughs> ever. It's kind of yes. Go out and buy a track DVD, man. Cause, cause, cause this, that's the reason. Cause I'm Kanye. <laughs> so go buy it. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs>
These are my grandparents. Hello. Hi. 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 The viewers might know him as P Thug, but you guys know him as Patrick. 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 So what do you guys know about scratching? I call it a contemporary type of percussion. And uh, in the in the way that it's a sound and it creates it becomes louder or softer with the pressure that Alan puts on it. <laughs> it's really a mystery. <laughs> Because when I have to explain to my contemporaries what you do, or what they ask me at what you do, he just takes records and turns them and makes sound beautiful. He's got a magnificent beat. When, 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 when I mentioned the word scratching, so they say, well, where is the itching? You may be good at scratching, and you're the best at scratching, but when it comes to caps, <laughs> you're still second. <laughs> I buy a cap every week.